Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Stellaris, the co-dominant human elf campaign. In the last episode, we began working on rebuilding our fleet, getting our battleships rebuilt, and our battle cruisers. So that is something that we are currently working on. We were able to land forces on the planet of Colonos and take the planet back. Unfortunately, the population had already been exterminated by the time we got there. So we had to basically resettle, and we're beginning to repopulate that planet. So that is good. And it looks like that the contingency forces have decided to try to occupy another one of my worlds, but they ran smack into my main combat fleet with their ground forces still in space. So we're working on taking those guys apart. Um, that shouldn't take much longer. Uh, we're still nowhere near capable of heading to the Anuis system and engaging their main forces directly. Uh, so uh, we're gonna have to kind of keep that on hold for now, keep the enemy contained for the time being. Unfortunately, um, it does not look like that they are in containment in other parts of the galaxy at the moment. So, um, we're gonna see how things go. It may get bad. Very bad. Alright, now the other thing that we had at the end of the episode, I proposed a, two options. One, about how we're gonna deal with the League. Is one, is we join the League and try and take over the League politically. So, get in into the League, become the, the Federation President, um, make our presidency permanent, reduce the ability of the member states to do any voting, basically seize control and impose our will upon them, basically using our enemies' tactics against them. So that was one option. The other option was to keep things the way they are and then keep hitting them militarily from the outside. Um, and I proposed a vote. I posted that on the video and in the Discord channels. And according to the current total, it looks like that the option to join the League and take over from within is the current winner. So, we need to begin acting on that now because we can use the League, well, hopefully, um, as a way of helping us deal with the contingency threat. So, that is how we're going to negotiate this. The contingency is a threat to everyone, so we need to put aside our uh, current problems and work together to deal with it. Alright, so I'm going to ask the Gagasi to join the Federation. We're going to confirm that, and then they should hopefully allow us to join. I'm guessing they have to go through a vote. Our presence in the galaxy has not gone by unnoticed. Uh, we have established communications with the Unidentified Empire, whatever the Unidentified Empire is. First contact with the Unidentified Empire? I bring greetings from Claws of Maroon, the undisputed ruler of the Unidentified Empire. Respect our borders and keep out of our affairs. That's kind of funny. Um, are they actually a contact in here? The Unidentified Empire. They have no opinion. They have no planets and no pops. That is kind of hilarious. Alright. So, we need to see if we can get ourselves into a position of power here. Uh, next uh, vote for the presidency is going to be in eight years. All right. We need to try to bring some of these opinions up. We can leave anytime we want. 
So, all right, let's go ahead and get this unpaused. They either were completely destroyed or they retreated. Uh, you guys return here to upgrade your fleet designs. We are working on trying to get more battle cruisers built. So we are building a Phalanx class and a Hoplon class. So I guess we'll queue up another. We only have two classes of battle cruiser, right? Yeah, Phalanx. One thing I'm also going to have to do is go back in there and rename all the ships that were uh, viewer named ships because we pretty much lost, well, most of them. So um, we'll have to, you know, I'll have to go back in there, find that list again, and um, fix them once we have the ships built. Maybe I'll make those the larger ships, the dreadnoughts and super dreadnoughts. Instead of the battleships and battle cruisers, since it appears that those guys are going to drop like flies in the current conflicts that we're in. Establishing colony. All right. So they keep an eye on these guys. Now the problem is, is that these crises are not actually considered wars. So I can't like rally the fleets to me and attack them in one combined force. Which, if I could, I could wipe the contingency off the face of the galaxy, you know, pretty much without much effort. But, um, so be it. We have to deal with it ourselves. As long as they stay here and they don't start building up their forces, construction complete. We'll be okay. At least in our region of the galaxy, we'll be all right. Elsewhere, not so much. All right, two more months, I can queue in another battle cruiser. All right, we've got two months left on Gene Clinics. Twenty-two months left on the battleship Spinal Mount, so we can start mounting. Uh, spinal Lance Weapons. 36 months on Tachyon Lances. I have some debris over here. Is there anything in here that would be interesting to analyze? Small plasma accelerators and small disruptors. So, uh, not really. You are coming in here to rebuild those. We are analyzing this debris. And I would say we should build some military stations, but the military stations are just not going to stand up. So it'd be kind of a waste of resources. And just get this fleet built up and we move in and intercept them if they try to leave the NUA system at all. Oh, I'm paused. Oh, All 
All right, science ship here isn't doing anything. Assist research. Ships upgraded. All right, our fleet is upgraded. Actually, I should probably have you guys do. Just come over here and land there. All right, state power restored. Let's see, can I get a Hoplin class battle cruiser under construction? Yes. Well, actually, I should probably try and build stuff here initiating communications so that we can keep the fleet uh, they want a research agreement with the the isk star regime okay the moyage hawkskin coalition has left the league of non-aligned powers the high kingdom of the shredded skull has left the league of non-aligned powers Genocidal. Terror bombing. We never engaged in any terror bombing. Why do I have a genocidal modifier on here? Technology discovered. Wow, that was kind of interesting. My joining the league has caused the league to disintegrate. Very interesting. Unlocks building a gene clinic. All right. Let's see, what do we have? Epigenetic triggers for uplift? Yes, yeah, grab that. Wow. Everything has inverted. It's kind of interesting. I mean, the only thing that I've ever exterminated have been these synthetics. Huh. Let 
No, everybody is breaking their migration treaties. Now, I know the Ignari coalition was kind of friendly towards us. The Oakleys want to give me 6,000 energy credits. I will accept. Construction complete. All right. Well, if we have to eventually militarily force them back into alliance as we had planned to do in the first place, this makes things a lot easier. And it also probably makes it easier for me to gain control of this federation. Because I don't actually have you know like terror bombing as an option Alright, Governing Ethics shift in the Quipulci Allied Systems. They are becoming more outwardly xenophilic. Very nice. It's gonna take... there's only plus one yearly? So this is going to take like 189 years for that to go away? Construction complete. Fellowship Alliance entered into a defensive pact with the Inari Coalition. Yep, I have no idea. All right, well, we need to get some more of these battle cruisers. Actually. How many more do we need? I want to bring up the 20 battle cruisers. One, two, three, four. We have three, so we're up to seven. So. Eight. How much does it cost to build cruisers? Not enough to build two. End of the month, we can queue up another. The ninth battle cruiser. Oh, we got impulse thrusters, tachyon sensors, physics research, cyber research, engineering research. All right, good. 
There we go. This is going to be a Phalanx class, so this can be a Hoplon class. So we can build one Battlecruiser every two months. And actually, as I said, I want to get this done. I'll need to wait a month. that of modifier as well? Yeah. They like the fact that I was genocidal. Okay, that's interesting. The only thing I'm genocidal against are these you know, contingency forces. Okay, so they're building defensive stations. Build crew quarters and expand that station. Civility uh, and the Inari Coalition. Another migration treaty broken. Moyage, Huskin Coalition entered a non aggression pact. Inter defensive pact. Broken Migration Treaty, Broken Migration Treaty, Broken Migration Treaty. We share the communion into the non-aggression pact with the Civilian Shipping Alliance. Civilian Shipping Alliance entered into a non-aggression pact with the Kark Hunting Grounds. Migration Treaty broken. We share the communion entered into a defensive pact with Kark Hunting Grounds. So they're all forming defensive alliances. But still, those defensive alliances are a lot going to be a lot easier to deal with than the massive uh, federation we would have had to have fought. Guys are arriving. Basically, you want to try and fill out the naval capacity completely. I'm gonna make sure that all of those. Spaceports are up and running.
Construction complete. What I could do is go ahead and declare war on somebody that allow me to gain control of the f entire fleet of the Federation and then use it to smash the contingency into dust before uh, have, going to deal with whoever we, it is we declared war against. Like the Metatron, for example. Nobody likes them. Technology discovered. Uh, what do we got? Epigenetic triggers. All right. Construction complete. Toad asteroid mining. Let's take care of this tile blocker that's been sitting here for a little while. Unspent trade points. Ah, yes, because we have a pre-sentient race within our borders. Here. So let's see if we can uplift them. Research it. At this point, we're just waiting for resources to accumulate. There's a hop on class. Phalanx class. Once we get these facilities built here, it will help. Because that's going to reduce ship upkeep by 10%. And then we can go for a engineering bay, which will reduce ship upkeep. What's this? Inari Coalition joined the Galactic Defense League with the Valdari Assembly. Alright, so they're starting to form their own federation now. And these are the... Um, the states that were... We had described as being taken over through Engaging political coups seat. by the the enemy um, order, the, the paganetic complete. order, I believe it was. So it makes sense that when we joined the League that they felt that they had control over, they decided it was a bad idea to stay in and they got out and now they're trying to form their own coalition now. But this is going to help balance things out a bit, I guess. One thing is we are going to have to see if we can't force the Ozcox to release the Human League. But we'll have to see once we are able to gain control of this, of this Federation.
Alright, as soon as the month ticks over, we should be able to queue up another battle cruiser. The aliens have formed a federation. Voyage Hawkskin Coalition has joined the Galactic Defense League. So they should be turning green in a moment. up that battle cruiser. So far, these guys have been quiet. How are things going elsewhere in the galaxy? When all the shredded skulls on their own. But we need to worry about it because the stronger they get, we're going to have to deal with it eventually. The Nab are not doing so well. Scientist Veer. But Donag has died at the age of 95, so we need a new scientist. Not only research speed, survey speed, leader... Oh, let's just go with the guy who's cheaper to recruit, because we don't really need, like, survey speed or anything like that anymore. Get back to assisting research. that upgraded. I want to see, will this give me enough? No, I don't think so. 957. That might give me just over 900. Now what I could do is turn a lot of these energy credits into minerals. That actually might not be a terrible idea. Let's see. Contact. We would like to trade for minerals. I don't want to spend all of my energy credits. But a good portion of them. The other thing we can do... Let's see, you have lots of energy credits. We can grab some of their minerals there. Alright. Well, we are at the end of this episode. Let me just see. We got seven battle cruisers, with two on the way, so that's nine. Two more under construction, we're up to eleven. So then it's going to be twelve. Was that? That was Phalanx. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. And these guys need to have their spaceports expanded.
These guys are mechanical? Let me just do my math again. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We need four more. We don't have enough minerals for four more. We can do three more. And then once our... Actually... One more day? No, I already calculated. Okay. So yeah, we just need to queue in one more battle cruiser, and then we'll be up to kind of where I want it to be for the moment. And then we'll move on to building something else. All right. We just need to get that fleet up to strength. Alright, so, we'll go ahead, we'll continue working on this next episode. This was pretty interesting. We'll have to see how it plays out. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.